the secret weapon for muscle growth. And it's not what you think. Guys, muscle isn't built in the gym. Muscle is actually built outside of the gym. And here's a thing that most people kind of forget. You can't train hard indefinitely. You're going to need to take breaks at some point. Your body's going to get beat up. You're just going to be tired of doing the same things and tired of going to the gym. You're going to get sick of it. So you taking a break, science tells you, okay, you got to take a deload. So what is a deload? A deload is when you go into the gym for the week and you train at 60% of your normal weights and you just kind of go nice and easy. It's kind of like active recovery. You're still in the gym. You're still moving the weight, but it's a lot lighter load. This allows you to allow your fatigue to come down and your recovery abilities go up. And once your fatigue is lower than your recovery ability, you feel good and you're back in the gym training hard again. But deloads, and again, I've been doing this a long time. I've been in this training to build muscle for 20 years. Deloads are an inferior way to recover. You're still getting CNS fatigue because you're still in the gym. You're mentally like, I'm sick of this place. I don't want to look at this anymore. I don't feel like training. You're in the gym basically doing lighter weights. You're still moving your muscles around. You're still hitting your joints because most of the time what happens is your muscles recover faster than your joints do. So you've got some joint pain. This is what starts to happen after you've training hard for a while. And you're still doing the activity. You're still training, right? And it's good. And in theory, it's like, you know, I love training. So I'm like, perfect. I, I love deloading because I'm still in the gym and I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out. But you are, okay? This approach that I've been using is way better because I give you full CNS rest. You're basically, you're going to rest your fatigue, your, your central nervous system is not going to, is going to be completely reset doing what I'm going to tell you. This is what I do for all my clients as well. You're going to be basically getting a mental break from the gym, which is nice sometimes because then you actually forget there's things outside of the gym that you can do. And with all this extra time from not training, you actually find out what those things are, right? You spend time out of the gym, which is, I know, very weird. Your joints and your muscles get fully and truly recovered. So what is this? You're going to take seven to nine days off the gym completely. Now, I don't mean sit on the couch and be a lazy bastard. I definitely don't think that's right. I think you should still be active. You should still try to hit your steps and go for walks and play basketball, play sports and whatever else you're going to do. But this is why this is so important. So during this time, you are going to let everything fully recover. So your joints been aching. Your joints are not going to get used the same way they do in the gym. And they're going to allow, be allowed for full recovery. Okay. So right now I am three to four weeks into my new training block. I just had come off nine days. I feel phenomenal. I don't feel beat up. I don't feel like I need to go and do a deload in another couple of weeks. I feel really, really good mentally. I feel really sharp in the gym. I feel like I want to be present in the workout. I feel like I can focus more. I'm putting tension on the muscle, which as we know for muscle building is very, very important. Sometimes when I deload, I don't feel like that still feels like a drag. I also feel like I can push my training a little bit harder. It's funny because starting since I've been starting to do this, I actually feel like I can add more volume in because I still I feel that recovered. Whereas when I was deloading, I never actually felt like I was fully, fully recovered. And just to think the thought of doing more I just couldn't handle it. Once I started implementing this with some of my clients as well, they've noticed that experience. Now, <laughs> it's funny because seven to nine days off is a lot of time. But when you take that week off, again, it's like, what am I doing? <laughs> you're still focusing on your nutrition. Like, all that stuff is still good. So you're still recovering. But that fatigue is really, really dropping off. And I know what you're probably thinking. Well, aren't I going to be taking a step back during this week? Yes, 100%. You know, you're, you're going to be over-recovered. But over-recovery is so... I'd rather be over-recovered than slightly recovered. Because over-recovered, you could just go back to training and last a couple of weeks longer before you need another deload break. So I'd rather that any single time. And remember too, so let's just say you did a deload, right? You did a deload, you went into the gym, you did 60% of your normal training, blah, blah, blah. Waste of time, waste of energy, waste of everything, right? So you did your deload. The first week back, the next week, you're back to training at 100%. You technically can't go 100% anyway. It always, that first week is always like an intro week where you're kind of building back up from 60% 
to that 100%. So you're like 80% of what you normally would do. So you have to do that anyway. So it's almost like you're deloading for two weeks. But in this case, that intro week allows you to, allows your body to be more receptive to the training. I always talk about less is more. So you're starting to get less out of more. So you're doing that intro week, again, at about 80% of what you normally would do. So you kind of get like a deload effect from that as well. But now you kind of give your body a bigger jumping off point to go off. of. So now I'm training at 80% than at more than what I normally would do, but I'm getting more out of that. I'm ramping my training up. So it's far superior doing it that way as opposed to just taking a deload. I'm more mentally fresh and I feel like that ability to push it is way higher when you take a full break from the gym. So instead of taking a deload every six to eight, 12 weeks, whatever it is that you normally would take a deload, what I recommend for all of my clients as well, take that seven to nine days off. And I'm telling you, it's going to suck at first. I'm not going to lie. Being out of the gym that amount of time is like, this is a lot. You start to feel like, wow, I don't know what else to do with myself. I feel like I'm losing muscle at this point. You're not going to lose muscle, but it's going to give you a bigger jumping off point. You might not need to take another seven to nine days off for at least, you know, let's say you normally take a deload every six weeks. You can probably push it to eight to 12 weeks doing it with this method, right? So give that a shot. And because you made it this far into the video, I got a free gift for you. I have a free six-week training program that I want to give you. No strings attached. All you got to do is click that link. I just want to help you to avoid all the mistakes that I made during my 20-year journey and help you to put on and build more muscle. All right, this was Anthony, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.